Hey you guys, this is Rico back again looking at you through your computer screens. Bam. Put them up right here. Or you can high five me. <laughs> I have grease on my hands. <laughs> If you actually put up your hand for a high five, or you put up your knuckle, leave a like. You are cool. Preferences. We gonna talk about this today because I feel very strongly about this topic and just the hypocrisy of it. And how people don't really take the time to sit down and think about where preferences come from when pertaining to race. Okay, preferences that have to do with physical attributes, excluding race. I have them. I'm sure you have them. Everyone has them. It's just that I believe that someone's race should not be put in that equation. Now, I'm not crying. We, we, you're not going to get no crybaby out of me talking about because people putting on social dating profiles that they don't want to date black people. I don't care about that. I mean, you wouldn't want to date that person anyway. But <laughs> I do feel like when people say I'm not attracted to a certain race, that there is some deep-seated racism in that because I don't believe that one race is better looking than the other. I believe that there are beautiful people in the white race and the black race and the Asian race, Hispanics, everybody, Indian. There are attractive people all around the world. I haven't met every single person in these races. You haven't met every single person in these races. But for you to say that every single person in one race we're going to talk about black people because people all want to say black people are ugly. Are ugly. <laughs> I believe that that's BS, to be honest with you. Because then, in the same breath, you'll get that same person that will see an attractive black girl. And then will be like, oh, she's attractive for a black girl. Or she's attractive and I don't normally like black women, but I find her attractive. It only takes one, buddy. If you find one black person attractive, you find black people attractive. Because that black person is a part of the black race. So it's like, I don't, I never understood people that will sit up there and say, well, I'm, I'm normally not attracted to black people, but I think that you're cute. You're attracted to black people then. I don't like Asian men, but you're cute or you're cute. I wouldn't date you though because you're Asian. I don't like Asian men. That, that is racism. To me, because you're basing, you deciding if you want to date this person solely on the fact of their race. Next, we got to look at where preferences come from pertaining to race. They're learned. We don't come out of our mother's womb with preferences on race. We don't even notice race when we are babies up until we're young. Until people point out, oh, you're black, oh, you're white, or oh, you're Asian. We, you know as a child, you play with whoever because you don't really pay attention to it until the world tells you you're black, you're white. You shouldn't play with that person. You shouldn't play with that person. Play with people in your own culture. You know, white people are racist. It, it's the world that tells you that, but I hope that there are parents that actually teach their children that everybody's human. Yes, they're racist people in this world, but Stay positive and love everybody. They love you, you love them back. And I believe that's the same thing with dating people and having preferences. Also, if we're going to talk about the Korea boos and the people that love Japanese culture, what they call we boos. And you know, they love Japanese men, Japanese women, Korean men, Korean women. That to me too is a problem. A and B W. When we got couples that constantly put in the video that my Korean boyfriend does this, my Japanese boyfriend does this, and BW, sis, brother, we, we can see clearly that your significant other is Asian. You don't need to put it in the title. We got eyes. We can see the thumbnail. 
You could just put my boyfriend. It's like you were subjecting them. Like you're saying, oh yeah, look you guys. I know you all want an Asian. So here I have one too. I'm black. You know, I'm special because I got an Asian partner. Watch my video so you can feel good about yourself. And so that you can feel like you can get an Asian too. Instead of teaching people, find a good partner that will love you for you. They just so happen might be Asian. They just so happen might be white. They just so happen might be Hispanic or black. And you might be a different race. But that race factor should never come first when you're dating someone. It should come last. And in fact, you shouldn't really even really think about it at all. Because a person is a person and you should be looking for someone that will love you and that will hold you down and that would be your ride or die. Not looking for someone specifically for their race. That's weird to me. I always thought that was really weird. I, thought, I think it's weird when I see certain channels that like try to pander that to black women or pander that to white women or they're trying to promote that, oh yeah, if you get a certain race or you get this type of guy, this is better than this, or mixed race children that are black and Korean or black and white or beautiful or is like that does not make a baby beautiful just because a baby is mixed. It has to do more with how the parents look and those features coming together in that child. What actually makes the baby pretty it has nothing to do with their race. There are mixed race babies that are not cute. <laughs> You know, and there are some that are very cute. There are some that look more like one race. They might look more black. They might look more white. They might look more Korean, depending on what they're mixed with. You never know how a mixed baby is going to turn out. But you shouldn't be looking at their skin color, their eye color, their hair texture. Love your baby. If your baby is darker with kinky hair and you're black with a Korean person, love your child for how they look. You shouldn't be sitting up there like, oh... My baby look more black or my baby doesn't look Korean enough or my baby doesn't look exotic enough. Why does that matter? It's a baby. A baby is pure. Don't put that pressure on your baby. Don't put race preferences as a pressure on your relationship. Because you're not doing yourself any good. And what you're actually doing is you're blocking love for yourself. Now... We can also, we can end this on, I understand people dating their own race for cultural reasons. I understand why there are Korean people that choose to date in their race because they have very strong cultural customs. I understand why black people choose to stay with their own race. Strong cultural customs. And there's a love of exchange there of just being in your own culture, especially if you're a black and this is a black relationship or Korean relationship. That's why there are parents from each background that very strongly advise that you date your own race because they're thinking about your children and the cultural customs. Now, does that mean that if you bring home someone that's not Korean or not black, that your parents need to be rude and blatantly disrespectful to them? No, it does not. That's, that's wrong. <laughs> you know, still treat people with respect. So this is a whole lot to think about. Look at the person and not the color of their skin and how they jive with you and what you're trying to do in your life. And just be happy. You know, this is something for people to think about. I hope I reached out and I hit a nerve on some people and they really take the time to think about this topic. I'm tired of people saying, well, race preference, people are allowed to have their preferences. It's like, why? What's the point? Like, people are people. They're ugly people. They're attractive people. Food for thought. Do you all focus on race? I, I don't get it. So, you guys, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to follow my social media, mostly my Instagram. Also, have a blog on East Asian pop culture. The link is always down there below. And remember, be real. Stay real. Live in the real. And I will be back.